Let us now take a sutram which applies only to a single verbal root. The verbal root here is ing adhyane nityam adhipurvaha from the adadigana. This verbal root is always preceded by the upasargaha adhi. This sutram says ingascha. Very simple sutram ingaha cha. Ingaha is pancham yekavachanam of ing. And we know that we are in the adhikara of dhatoho from 3191. So the sutram simply means that the apisghanya may be used following the verbal root ing adhyane nityam adhipurvaha to denote either bhave which is coming down from 3318 bhave meaning the sense of the verbal root as having attained to a completed state or from 3319 akartricha karake sanyaya any karaka except the agent of the action provided the word so derived is a proper name which is sanyaya now we have noted many times already that the anavritti from 331819 runs all the way down to 3 3 right now we're looking at 3321 so we know that bhave as well as akartrijakarake sanyayam applies here and now the question comes is that why do we need this sutra can we not just use 331819 itself why do we need this one well the answer is that we have already studied the sutra 3356 which says eracch ivarnanta dach so the affix such may be used for verbal root ending in ivarna right now we have the verbal root ing anubandalope e so that does end in the ivarna so had the sutram not been there then the affix ach would have come in by 3356 so now this affix ghani prescribe by this sutram 3321 is apavada for the affix ach which would have been done by 3356 siddhanta kumudi says achopavada achopavada so that is why we need this sutram 3321 because in the absence of this the affix ach would have come so to put back the affix ghani we need this sutram 3321 ingascha let's take one example well known word upadhyaya upetya asmad adhite upadhyaya upetya asmad adhite iti upadhyaya so having approached him a student gains knowledge or studies from him gains knowledge from him so that is how this word upadhyaya is derived is of course in the apadana karake apadana karake so from whom one studies or gains knowledge having approached him from him the student gains knowledge the derivation is quite simple here we have the upasarga upa in addition to the upasarga adhi which is always present with ing adhyane so adhi is always present but here we also have the upasarga upa so we have upa adhi e plus ghani by this sutram 3321 used here in the sense of akartrijakarke sanyayam apadana karake we use janavritti from 3319 of akartrija karake sanyayam in the absence of this sutram ach would have applied by 3356 that's why we need this sutram to prescribe the affix ghaniya okay so now steps should be straight forward anubandha lopaha nyakarasya issanya vai halantyam ghakarasya issanya vai lashakvata jite tasya lopaha swigat up adhi e a now this ghani has the chavarga panchamaha nyakara as it so we apply achonyati to the vridhya desha in place of the ikara of the angam so we get up adhi ai a by achonyati 72115 then we apply acho yava yavaha get up adhi ai a then yan sandhi between adhi and ai get up dhyaya Finally, we do akasthamani dhirgaha, between upa plus adhyaya becomes upadhyaya, which gets the pradvidika sanyabhaya. Krit, that is the samasa, shen prathama, ekvachanam is upadhyaya.